Flanders are from beyond, all clear. Racing from that 1600 meter mark from Pineapple Express and Mr. Monocle, who are just one or two lengths slow into stride. Max the Otter and Shavut from his wide draws, as well as Fair Advantage, are all pushing forward to go and sit up into a handier position. Thunder Master settles on the heels of the early speed with Rule of Thumb, racing on the inside of runners. Then a further length back to To the Moon and back, who's racing about five lengths off the early pace. Then comes Bardolino, the blue sleeves and cap, racing on the inside of Le Mans, forged by Fire Nets Best with Lunch Money. They're racing a good ten lengths off the leader. Then comes Pineapple Express and Mr. Monocle. Has it all to do from last of all, about 30 13 lengths, separating first to last, a nice strong gallop out in front, and it's Chavut that's doing the work at the moment, shows the way by two lengths. Fair advantage in the set and match the otter on the outside in the third. Then a further length back to Thundermaster who sits in that one out position. Then comes Rule of Thumb. Another two lengths back and running to, to the moon and back and Bardolino. They have about seven lengths to make up. Another two lengths back in the running to Le Mans followed by Lunch Money forced by Fire. Mr. Monaco one from last. Pineapple Express last of all with a lot of work to do at the top of the straight. 600 meters left to go. Fair advantage now moves up alongside Chavut. Deep out is Le Mans with to the moon and back. Thunder Masters still has three lengths to make up. Bardolino starting to make headway down towards the inside. Real and rule of thumb down the center of the course, really starting to move up into the race smartly as they're into the final 200 meters. Chavu trying to hang tough, but fair advantage and rule of thumb have now moved up smartly down the center. It's rule of thumb just ahead of fair advantage into the closing stages. Rule of thumb doing the best, and rule of thumb is going to get there. Fair advantage into second, third. Might have gone to lunch money, and Chavu might have just finished in fourth. Race 6, Cape Racing Sales Class 4 over the 1600 metres has been won by number 5, Rule of Thumb, son of Royal Mo, and uh, well done to Corsi, who looks after him. He's, uh, and thank you to Hollywood Vets and Cape Racing for that. Craig Banton, the jockey board once again. And uh, Craig, lovely for this horse to, to follow up again. Thank you, Vicky. Yes, it was nice. Uh, it was very nice for Mr. Snow to give me another chance in the source. And I think he's a nice prog progression type. So let's see what they all in the near future. He looks like once you get him into gear, he just he just rolls on. Is he quite straightforward? Yes, he is quite straightforward. I bounced him out nicely. I rode him a little bit more positive because I knew there was going to be a bit of pace on. So once... I found myself in a nice position. He just switches off. Well done, Craig. Sweet, thank you. I just want to say a big thank you to the whole Snade Racing team and well done to Mr. Brian and to, to Jonathan Snade, the, the partner involved. Well done. Well done. Thank you and well, thank you to my sponsor, Turf Talk. There you go. Well done to Craig Bantam. Uh, lovely that uh, Justin kept him on. Justin, well done. Great, thank you. It's uh, the miracle horse that keeps on going. He's just a fantastic in, an, uh, individual. Unbelievable. Um, it was a race that uh, it's just all the right. Uh, we're very fortunate. They, you know, they redid the race and uh, he got a lovely draw. And it, I wouldn't say it's particularly one of the more stronger fields, but we're, could, the, all the races are tough at the moment. But it's a race that certainly, if he could just run like he did last time, he'd be very competitive. And uh, uh, I th we're just over the moon that he's that he's racing like us and uh, Craig really rides him well so there's absolutely no reason to to take him off it I think it's his ride and uh, it's just um, he gets on so well he just there was a couple patches around the turn where he, he just started dipping a little bit and Craig kept him in in touch and uh, rode a perfect race I don't think anyone could have ridden a better race on him so really well done to him Andrew is always a ab absolute privilege to train for and uh, we have such fun so and Clava Flay on breeding him uh, really well done hold on Justin great thank you Next up, Andrew's going to come across and, and chat to me. And I think last time we, we spot, uh, touched on the fact that he's a bit of a miracle horse. And I think every run is a win, but this is brilliant that he's had the two in a row. Yeah, you know, to, to come back and win a race after an injury like that was something amazing. To win back-to-back -back is just exceptional. So, you know, he's, he's the horse that keeps on giving. Um, you know, Justin and the yard have done an incredible job with him, the patience, the care that they give to him. And I think, you know, again, Craig just ran a, a beautiful race. He said there were, where Justin said he dipped a bit, there were a couple of wet patches there, which kind of always makes you a bit nervous for the horse that's had an injury like that. But he, um, yeah, he coped very well, he really balanced, and he just, you know, he does, does it all right in him. So I'm really, really chuffed. Does it get more exciting as it goes on? 
It does because you you kind of he ran really well as a as a baby. He had a couple of great runs. He won, and then he was going to be in a feature in PE. The injury put pay to that, and then you kind of wonder if you're ever going to get the horse back. Never mind the, the same quality of horse back, and and it just shows how much how many guts he's got. So I I bought the half sister at the next sale as well because I like a horse with heart, and um, and he should, certainly proves it. Well, good luck for the win, and hope we see him back again. I uh, can hope so. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Well done uh, for the win. The number five, Rulof Thumb. Also, uh, not only Andrew Brand involved, but also John O'Snate. So, well done to him and Calvin Flester for breeding. The son of uh, Royal Mo, just a Rulof Thumb, overcame uh, quite a severe injury, and it's just fantastic to have him not only back to winning ways, but uh, having the back-to-back the -back wins. Well done to all the connections.